Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Seven Works Channel. Today we're building the real gray Saku Man My Layer. Uh, I bought this all at uh, Robo City. I didn't do an unboxing video because I just bought one of them, so I don't think it's gonna need a unboxing video. And um, you know, the reason I bought this is I extremely like the design at the back here. I actually want to find out. Uh, do we have to plug it on, or do we have to, or do we just flip out the mines out? So let's you know start unboxing. Uh, so you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, six packages, and oh, the decal this time is actually separate. And um, let's take a look. So you know, Saku mine layer. Let's take a quick look. Uh, so we got some, just pretty much the same like the uh, Johnny Ryden Saku 2 that I built before. But except, might be a couple extra steps and that's it. And I can imagine the waist is going to be still very sloppy. <laughs> and uh, let's take a look. Oh, we have a new backpack, of course. And um, hmm, let's take a quick look. Uh, Oh, the mice is actually oh the mice actually uh, is an individual uh, instruction. You can just flip it out, and this time the Zaku head is different. Um, you connect it to the backpack. Okay, some decals instruction at the back, and some color guides with the pilot as well. This time it's not gonna have much decals on it. So you know, okay, we'll take a look at that when we uh, done the whole thing. Right now, so let's look at a the runner. So this is the P2 runner, a new runner on the uh, Gamble itself. It's the uh, backpack and the uh, the backpack mines. G2 runner from the original Zaku. Uh, we got some feet parts, some arms, some shoulders, knees, and. Some part of the legs. We got a F2 runner. This is the pipe of the Zaku's. We got an E runner. It's from the original Zaku. It's uh, from it's the inner frames. All the inner frames. We can see some details here. Yep. Old one runner. New runner as well. Uh, this is totally for the backpack. H runner. Uh, we got the bazooka. The machine gun, machine gun cap, got some uh, feet part, the heat hawk. O2 runner, a new runner as well, it's for the backpack, torso, and. I'm not sure which part is that, uh, the, the bottom waist. G1 runner, original Saku runner, uh, just like a G2 runner, uh, it's feet part, arms part, and uh, shoulder parts. P3 runner, new runner as well. This is for the backpack. Uh, you know, the mine layer have a red part on the back. Uh, this is for it. A C runner. We got some legs, a shield. Uh, what's that? Uh, that's the. Uh, I'm. I forgot which one's that. That's the outside arms, isn't it? And the feet part as well. We got a D part. Some. Hands option, some uh, inner shield frame, some joints, and the pipe as well. The pipe on the waist. Then we got a whoop, the eight runner. We got the pilot figure here. Uh, some waist part, some uh, outside, uh, some side skirt, back skirt, uh, torso piece, uh, waist part, and some. Other parts as well. Um, F1 runner. We got the Zaku shoulder, the sh outside shield, the head, uh, and some spikes on the shoulder. That's the P1 runner, a new runner as well. So we got a new backpack, a uh, some part of the mines, and you know, pretty much the same like a P2. That's the O2 runner for the backpack as well. Then we got this really signature uh, RG 
uh, frame and we got you know just take a quick look of it and then we have the decals with the springs this time I will try my best not to break the springs okay this time I will try my best to not break the springs because last time I broke it I broke it on the uh, Johnny Ryan and Saku and you know uh, this is pretty much it and I will see you guys at the review Hello, welcome back to the review of the Zaku Mine Layer. So this is the finishing of the whole uh, Gampo and I honestly need to say though it's a very cool design for a uh, uh, Zaku and but uh, it is you know the common thing about the RG Zaku is the legs and the waist and those two problems still exist since it's, uh, it used the uh, RG Zaku 2's frame so it still have so what that Saku have the problems and this Saku will have it as well 
Well, but let's talk about something good first. So uh, first, I'm very happy about the color beam. The color beam actually looks more military now, because you know it's drawing to this. What's what's that called? Like brown, light brown. Uh, I I'm I actually don't know the colors. I don't know the color name. I don't know how you call it. Like light brown. I'm not sure. But you know the overall feeling gives it a very good um, color beam of military. Plus, I really like this. I really like this, uh, you know, the, the spectating thing at the back. It's, it's very cool, though, actually. And, you know, uh, but it's kind of, it kind of looks, uh, it's, there's something that I want to say, though. So, uh, this time, the marking is very limited, so uh, the mobile suit looks a bit plain. And it's not as complex as the uh, others. It's not looking as detailed with the markings like the other RGs. This time they, it looks pretty plain. So if you want to like kind of get some extra stickers and put it on, uh, of course you can do that. But I'm not going to do it because I want to show you what it looks like after you put on all the decals that the uh, instruction manual being told you to doing. But uh, you know. Uh, I'll jump to start to review. Right, so now let's start with the head. So uh, this time the head is a little different. The, the, uh, the piping, the pipes actually extended all the way to the uh, back of the uh, back, uh, the backpack. But uh, this time the the head is connected with the backpack uh, with a wire. The wire actually didn't go deep enough into the backpack. So you know if you're moving around, you might face a problem. Is the wire eventually will pop out. So uh, be careful about that. Uh, you know, uh, because during the, the limited movement, uh, because of the uh, because of the head connected to the backpack, uh, it's smooth about forty five degrees for the head, and also just like all the Zagus, uh, when you move around, the mono eye will will follow the movement as well. But uh, this time, not so much movement, and also it can move up and down for a little bit. Right. So now let's talk about the torso. So the torso, as usual. Uh, up, down, side, side to side about you know 30 degrees up and down about 30 degrees as well but uh, you know the Saku ways is very very soft and is it's kind of sloppy though so if you have some thing to do you know kind of tighten up the joints I suggest you to do it and also uh, we have a the cockpit hatch opening option at the right side as well all you have to do is just move it up and you will see it. Uh, let me let me show you the cockpit with a flashlight. So you can see there. Uh, you can see like a small chair in there. That's all you see it. But you know it's still very good though. At least they give you a chair. Now let's talk about the arms. So first, the arms just like the Zaku that I reviewed before. Uh, both arms can be extend. Uh, both arms armor is extendable, and actually you can push it back as well. And you know the whole arms can go 360 and uh, up to the side about during there's a during each side have a piece of armor blocking the movement so moved up about 45 and you know you can you can bend that you can bend that arm 180 as well very good very very good movement actually and you can move the hand down here 360 no problem it also have a small joint here you can move side to side slightly and then the whole arm can rotate for 360 as well so you know the arms got some pretty good movement as well let's talk about the waist so the waist each uh, piece of waist armor is individually can lift up about uh, over the 90 degrees but the problem is it's very easy to pop out it's a, it's a simple ball joint in there so it's very easy to pop out the side skirt uh, is, could be moved up slight as well the back skirt uh, during the backpack is, uh, is actually blocking the way so the back skirt originally can lift up about uh, 55 degrees but this time the backpack was in the way so that's why it couldn't lift up so you know let's kind of test the movements on the legs as well so the legs can move to the side almost 90 but not quite can kick to the front perfectly 90 perfectly 90 and you can kick to the back about 20, 20 and 25 and you know, but there's a problem on the legs though. Uh, actually, the joint on the legs is actually pretty easy to fell out, so be careful about that. And as usual, signature RG movements of the whole leg. See? 
See, 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 this is the exact problem that I'm saying. It's very easy to fall out. So now, uh, RG looks got that problem as well. But now, let's look at the legs. So it goes all the armor moving together when you're bending the legs. And the whole leg, sorry, this time is not available for 360 turning. So, not really. So, the feet is a double joint, so you can move two words. And the whole and then the whole feet can go side to side for slightly and go up and down for almost 45. Now as usual let's talk about the accessory. So we got the bazooka like normal. Uh, there's a handle on the side here you can flip it out but you might need to want to like kind of borrow a tool to kind of flip it out. Just you know just poke on it. And as you can see here there's a little there's a small handle uh, at the side of the bazooka which you can put it on on the hands as well same goes with the machine gun the machine gun just like the other saku that I reviewed before uh, you can wow that's very easy to fail out uh, you can pull out the you can pull out the ammo very easy simply just snap it on like this and also we have two we have two arm uh, we have two hands option so you can switch between uh, a weapon holding hand or a open hand and you know now it's basically I put on the hit hawk and the machine gun ammo but this time the uh, rocket bazooka don't have anywhere else to place it if you you know if you really want to put on the mobile suit just use the movable hand by the way this time the movable hand on this uh, on the frame actually shares the uh, shares this little piece uh, the connector of the arm together is shared together so if you want to use the movable hand you must rip one of those uh, hands off so now let's turn around and look at the thing that you weighted the most the backpack the backpack is designed very well I extremely like it and you know this time you know how the you know how I said the mines wasn't you know past swapping I was very surprised you actually you all you have to do is just pull down the red parts and actually flip it out just give me a second and then you can flip it out like this that was that is very cool actually that is very cool just give me a second actually all you have to do is just flip out the mines like this and now you can look at the part looks like uh, is rolling out the mines and by the way though a small nook stone the red part here when you pull it do not pull it too hard otherwise you will break it because it's very thin plastic so if you you know if you use too much force to pull it you're gonna break it and also the mines here actually don't have a very stable joint so every time you flip it out you need to push it back as well so otherwise it's gonna fall out so you know just a little bit warning about that and you know I have to say though, this backpack actually looks very good though. Alright, so this is the end of the review of the RG Saku My Layer. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And this is the, you know, I honestly need to say though, it's a very good design. But you know, during the early RG frames problem, so I couldn't, we couldn't enjoy the full potential of the uh, whole Gumper. But you know, it's fine, if it, it's fine with it because, you know, I try my best to post it. I might actually have to put it on on an action base since it's very hard to stand on its own and the legs just keep falling out so I might have to you know kind of find a stand and then kind of put it on and then just leave it there and never take it off again <laughs> but you know that's another case but you know anyways uh, thanks guys thanks for everyone for watching and you know I'll see you next time in another Gumper video and remember to like my videos and subscribe to my channel for more Gumper reviews and I will see you next time Goodbye.